Now let's go to more important matters. The next story is about fatal attraction. Boy meets girl, girl meet boy, they fall in love, live happily ever after. Yeah. Well, well, that, that, that is just in, in, in Hollywood. No, that's in, not In Hollywood, a twist follows. <laughs> An up-and-coming writer called El Nelton John did not know about the twist in the town. So he met Chima Mandangozi Adichie and he fell in love with her. Who will blame him? <laughs> he embraced Adichie's shadow and coveted her footprints. Whenever Adichie farted, he tweeted. Oh, yeah? yeah. Those who knew them said that Adichie was John's Jesus Christ on earth. Wow. Trouble started when John tweeted that Adichie's natural hair is a kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, no man who knows his feminism 101 ever does something like that. From then on, Adichie started to show John half of a yellow sun instead of the full yellow sun. <laughs> yes, yes. In no time, she invoked a cloud that covers John's son entirely. Then John got shortlisted for Ken Price and Adichie dismissed the prize itself. She said that the best African writing was in her mailbox begging for her attention. Wow. Yes. For great effect, Adiche called John one of my boys. <laughs> and that was when hell broke loose. John lost his small head and ate uncooked cocoa yam. Oh. Yes. Because I too fell in love with Adiche before all these small boys. I'm sure. <laughs> I feel I need to do something to help them know how to truly worship Adiche so yes, that sure. their chi will not fall. Sure. Yes. To avoid getting more of these boys in trouble, I present to you Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie 101, Understanding the Glamour Girl of African Writing. Oops, <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> Mrs. Wood, I apologize, I apologize. I, I don't normally steal people's material, I apologize. So, <laughs> it begins when Adichie talks to you little people. She may look tense, but really, she's not. Do, do you know why? Why? Listen. I'm yeah, not tense, on actually. Yeah. I like way. talking to my African peeps. I'm not tense. Right. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You are his peeps until you call her a girl. And then comes you, a girl from an o a woman. from <laughs> where I'm Whatever you do, don't make her roll her eyes on you. I, I, I walk hard, I suppose is what I want to say. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes, if people work hard, if you people work hard, maybe 10 years or 20 years from now, you will be getting near to where she is at this point. <laughs> now, now, here is the problem. This is the problem with interviews, and the internet is a terrible thing because nothing ever dies. So, right. you know, I might have been, I don't know, drunk one day and I just <laughs> say something and then it goes on the internet and it lives forever. And somebody comes 10 years later and says, you said that. And I'm thinking, wait, I did? Okay. But, but You're not drunk now. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You don't know that. That is the thing. She doesn't look drunk. She doesn't talk as if she's drunk. Mm -mm. So why do small boys misunderstand her? I want to know. Especially those who call her a female writer. Oh. Watch. You said female writer. And I just want to take out female. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, so... Whenever you meet her, check the Book of Divas and find out requests that you must never make. Never, never, never. You ask why? Why? Watch. No, I find that very annoying. <laughs> exactly. She finds some things very annoying. And when you annoy her, there is no way of saying what she will do next. Oh, yeah? Look. Are you still strong. gonna come to our studios, please? No, since you people said that I don't, no, I need to see you in a minute. Excuse me. Soup. They're always feeding us with pepper soup. Just you, you leave. Sorry. Oh, you understand? Thank you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes.